One time Kingsford George double team. This is what we talked about being disruptive a whistle and a foul stops the clock with 1047 to play. Beverly forcing the issue in transition a whistle and a foul. That Clipper defense so daring Sabonis to put the ball down to try to drive. Quick look for George. He has the green light anywhere he wants it. Shooting over 50% from above the arc. Holiday knocks down the three for Indiana. Back and forth we go in the first quarter. Long, he looks lean, and he's playing extremely well. Back the other way, impressive drive. He's bumped teams in the game against the Blazers. We're happy to see him out there as Brogdon now gets into the act. Five first quarter threes for the Pacers. Him throughout this process, you heard, you saw the statement from Karis Levert. So this is just someone, as Quinn said, no one has a bad thing to say about Karis Levert, and the entire organization is behind him. Indiana finding a way to hang around George down the lane, back to Zubats, a deflection, an interception, and a turnover for the Clippers. Indiana finding a way to hang around George down the lane, back to Zubats, a deflection, an interception, and a turnover for the Clippers. Sumner runs over Beverly, a whistle, and an offensive foul will go the other way. Indiana finding a way to hang around George down the lane, back to Zubats, a deflection, an interception, and a turnover for the Clippers. Sumner runs over Beverly, a whistle, and an offensive foul will go the other way. Offense of Zoo to kick it back out, and Patrick Beverly makes him pay. He's been one of the best three-point shooters the last four years, speaking of Pat Beverly. A running rebound for George. Clippers look to attack in transition. George accelerates down the lane, colliding with defenders. A whistle and a foul. The two, a long two. A Steve Ballmer. Challenge day in Michigan. The shame, Battier. What are those scores? Very good, Zar. So did Chris Webber. You, you How about that one? That's yeah. terrific. That's what yeah, I knew. That wasn't the right. That's why I said the you one. You did. I, you did look at me puzzled. I, it had day in it. it. It had day. Couldn't remember what the beginning was. I've also been informed that I will not be accepted. A mismatch. Sabonis now double team. He's a terrific passer. Sumner for three. This is everything. Marcus Morris Sr. has the loose ball. Don't let that guy have that straight line drive to the basket. Connell. An easy power play for the Pacers. And again, they're not going away. 100 to 81. 20 point leads this year. The team that has held that lead is 81 and 5. Sumner from the wing to the lane. Runner doesn't fall. There's a, I'm very content with the way the Clippers are playing offensively as the ball goes back to the Pacers. Sumner challenges Jackson. He lays it in. I'm very content with the way the Clippers are playing offensively as the ball goes back to the Pacers. Sumner challenges Jackson. He lays it in. Count it and a foul. 116 to 89. Seems comfortable with the way things are going. The ball movement. And of course, the three point shooting. Free throw is true. Stay tuned for the postgame show. It's available soon, but it's important to get healthy. Here is Bataze with the steal. A lot. We don't have uh, Jeremy Lamb right now. Hopefully here shortly. Throw any lazy passes. Everything has to be sharp, crisp. You have to come and meet the basketball against them because they're always hands, deflections, steals. Very important statistics to them. Six turnovers now for the Clippers in the fourth quarter. Kings of Vittori, no, which is 8 of 42 last year. And now the two teams swap turnovers, and the ball goes back to the Clippers. Very important statistics to them. Six turnovers now for the Clippers in the fourth quarter. Kings of Vittori, no, which is 8 of 42 last year. And now the two teams swap turnovers, and the ball goes back to the Clippers.